K R V E Audrey Rose here, and I have a very special guest in studio today, Eddie Benjamin. Hello, hello. What Thanks for having me. What is going on? Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. how are you feeling this morning? I'm a little tired, but I'm feeling very good. It's nice to be in warm weather. Okay, Help me. so the first thing we got to get you then is like barbecue. Had it. Have, okay, yep. so thoughts, what in did Memphis, you think? We had it in Memphis. It was pretty amazing, and... And I've had some barbecue in Nashville, but I'm yet to try it in Texas. Eddie, okay. Is Texas, it like, is, y'all Y'all got yes. it like, you have it though, right? Barbecue Did I just, like, is on a whole nother level in Texas. Look, I've only been here about a month because I just started working here. Oh, for real? But okay. barbecue is on a whole nother level when you come to Texas. Because, you know, other places like to do a lot with the sauce and stuff. Are they like, doing the most? Yeah. Is it just chill I've, here in the I've vibe? I've learned that that's all wrong. You got to really? do it with like how you smoke it and how you do the wood. Like, it's Damn, an art down it's here. A, it's an artistry. Yeah. So I love it. Some. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> After the show. Okay, so we're doing like the biggest tour probably of your life right now with yes. the Beebs. You're playing tonight at the Toyota Center, right? Mm-hmm. The Justice Tour. How did this even turn into a thing? Like, where did this come from? We were having dinner and he, he just asked me to come on tour. Really? Yeah. That simple? Yeah, we were eating chicken nuggets. I mean, what do you? What did your reaction when Justin Bieber was like? I was hey. like, I thought he was trolling me because he was. So, I mean, you know, he was so chilly. We, you know, we were just chilling. He was like, "Yeah, you wanna, you wanna come on tour with me?" I was like, "What?" <laughs> like, I was just with my family, like friends, whatever, and like we were just chilling. And I was like, "Wait, what?" Like, and I asked him. I asked him probably like three or four times, and he was like, "Yeah, bro, you wanna come?" I was like, "Yes, of course." <laughs> um, and I was very flattered because, like, you know, I had just put out like my first three songs. I'm mm-hmm. like, I've never gone on tour, and it's just like. The most insane tour. So yeah, like many thoughts happened How during are your that time. Drums? That's a better question because you know you get a lot of Justin has a lot of screaming fans, man. Yeah, how, how have you been taking that in? On it, so I mean it's it's crazy. Like and the arena, I mean it's just such a crazy space. But honestly, like the in ears, like when you have them, you, it's pretty hard to hear the crowd. So what I do, like when I'm playing a guitar solo, is I'll take one out and I love to like hear the real energy in the room. Really, it's like a very special feeling. Yeah, because like when you have those little in ears in, that's it feels like you're just in your own world completely yeah so when you take them out you feel like the whole ambience it's like crazy you get into yeah that. exactly you it? yeah cool. yeah it's That's really cool. crazy okay so one thing that i did see since you've been on tour and you've been having all these different experiences mm. is that you gave a guitar to one of your fans the other night so yes. tell me about that like what is the story with that are you always giving fan stuff at shows now can we look well that was the first time i had things? experienced something like that so like we 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 played the show and I went back to my bus, and there are a lot of people outside <laughs> screaming my name. And 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 Alex and and a few of the people on that's on tour with me were like, "Yeah, man, we got to go outside." I'm like, "Outside!" Like my initial reaction was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> like we're gonna go out there, and it was so much fun. Met everyone. It was like you know the best vibe. But yeah, like this beautiful this this little kid was like, "Do you have an extra pick?" I was like, "Yes, I do, my boy. I got an extra pick." And what? I told him to grab. I told him to grab a guitar from the bus. Yeah, it was it was a really good vibe. See, that is so cool. So, can I just safe to say that that's been your favorite fan moment on tour so yeah, far? Oh, so yeah, so cute. Yeah, yeah, I, lo- I love that. That was that was so fun. Now, yeah. speaking of guitar, because I know you you shred. We got to get into that. So, how long have you been playing guitar? I've been like peeping you and like kind of sneaking on social media. Like when you get on stage, it's like a whole other ah, like comes Thank out of you. you. That so, means so much. <laughs> how long have you been playing? That's a that's a good question. I, like, I wouldn't necessarily call myself, like, a formal guitar player. Like, it's just, it was a, more of a secondary instrument. I'm, like, a bass player, and I kind of just picked it up. Yeah. And honestly, like, my favorite guitar player ever is from Texas. Shout out Stevie Ray Vaughan. <gasps> my My best, my biggest influence in, in the blues world, for sure. Oh, um, that's so awesome. I actually, you know, Texas blues culture is, like, I love it. It's some of my favorite. Just that's a side right. note. But, yeah, like, I just kind of picked it up and... I just need to. I just needed to express myself on it, and yeah, like I kind of just, I just, I kind of just, it kind of chose me. Honestly, it just grew on me. Like, but really? yeah, I just, I love to play a lot of stuff in this tour. I was like, it's you know, let's do some solos. It's for this a vibe because when Thank you get you. on stage, it's just like you and your guitars, and mm. then that spotlight, and you just, I feel like you go into a whole different, Thank you. a whole yeah. different atmosphere, or just a whole different vibe. You lose stuff. yourself up there for sure. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. Okay, so <clears throat> what has been your favorite moment on tour so far? It's mm. a really good question. I think, I think, I mean, meeting so many people is 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 always like amazing. I think uh, the first show I was singing like a ballad, and I looked up, and like at the whole arena was lit up. Like experiencing that for the first time was just ridiculous, especially for like an opening act. Like yeah. I would never expect even 
fifty percent of people in there. But like the, when I tell you the whole place was lit up, I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Like I'm in space right now. That was like probably the most crazy moment I've had. Yeah, it was surreal, and that happened three times back to back. So really? I was just like, "Yeah, like, it was crazy." I'm ready for this. Like, I <laughs> it was crazy. No, it was a special <laughs> moment. It was beautiful. Now. With Weatherman, because that's the the big single right now, and I'm loving the song. I like the video. The video is a whole different. <laughs> I love the outfits. That's really what caught my attention. Thank you. But I know because I was doing some research that Weatherman has a little special place in your heart because it's a little bit about like dealing with your anxiety and stuff like that. So I want to ask you, with the tour and everything else going on right now, how do you maintain your mental health and how do you overcome mm, your anxiety? Because I feel question. like people throwing themselves at you constantly has yeah. to be overwhelming. Yeah, I think I think everyone goes through the same stuff. You know, I think mm-hmm. I think humans are designed to go up and down all the time, yeah. and I think that's just what it is. And it's really hard. I'm not going to pretend like I have it super figured out and like I'm on tour and I'm just like <laughs> chilling all the time. Like, no, I freak out on the daily. Just ask Alex. He has to deal with it. But like, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I think we're always just trying to work and try to understand ourselves better. You know, I get personally frustrated when I, you know, hear some advice. I'm like, oh my gosh, bro, come on. Like, you know, we're all going through these things. And honestly, the biggest thing for me, what I've been able to work on is finding kind of the peace in all of the up and downs and being able to just try to stay steady because, you know, there's so many, you feel amazing and then. And then, then you feel out. terrible and you yeah. feel am- it's just like that's not sustainable remotely as a person ever. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you're going it doesn't matter. Like I feel like you know everyone just this kind of just the way we're designed. So yes, yeah, st- still still working but just trying to find a little pocket of just being okay and just that staying nice there. Little you know? Happy pocket. Yeah. Exactly. So what do you do on tour that that makes you feel like what do you do to make you feel like Eddie? Like after I do a show, mm. get all that energy, I have all this in me. Like what is your thing to decompress where you're See, like, like playing? Okay. That's a really good question. I was actually saying playing the show is is me and then the other time is where I can just is more like where my like I can just kind of <laughs> chill. You know, like when I mean like I like exist, I like am born to just be on a stage and play. Like I real that's yeah. like the most relaxing time for me. Really? Hands down. All that energy and everything it's still just relaxing for you it's complete it's a com- it's a meditation yeah that's cool i can only imagine how that how that feels to have everybody i feel like it's you can feel the energy. crowd all in one moment it's, yeah for sure and the first few shows were like you know being in covid like for years and then like bang stadiums so many pe- that was like you know of course a lot to like adjust to yeah but yeah like it's definitely a bit of a meditation yeah that's awesome Okay, so I know you've been doing a lot of collabs lately, especially because we got the album getting ready to come out very Mm -hmm. soon. And I looked it up, so I listened to the EP. I love that, too. You have such style. Thank you. Now, you collabed with Sia. Mm -hmm. You've collabed with Earth, Wind, and Fire. That one shocked me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I wrote wrote a song and produced a song for for, for Earth, Wind, and Fire, Megan Trent. That was was a lot of fun. See, now, I kind of feel like you have a little bit of an old soul. So, because one of the covers that you did, too, was Amy Winehouse's mm. Back to Black. And she's one of my favorite artists. She's one of the goats. Really? A hundred percent. I agree. If she was still here today, I really think she would have changed the face of pop music immensely. A hundred percent agree with you. I feel like she already did that. With she did. Adele. She and did two she albums, kind of though. Opened the door think about that. how many, many albums other people. She did it with two. Yeah. And so young, too. 27. Oh, my. Ridiculously young. You accomplished a lot. So... Who is your biggest, like, what are your biggest lessons you've been learning with collabing with all these big Mm. artists, like songwriting? Yeah, that's such a, that's such a good question. I think purity in the songs is like the main string of attachment I see between amazing artists and maybe Mm -hmm. artists who I'm like, "Mm, okay, like, (laughs) whatever. And it's like making a song about how you actually feel and what you're going, like real experience put into a song to me always is the best option like without question and yeah. i think yeah working with these amazing artists i see that pattern of like them actually expressing themselves and maybe when i go into other rooms when i was a little bit younger oh let's write a song about x y and z i'm like this is who this is is, like what is going on right now like this is not anyone so like yeah i think that's main the main thing i've learned is like for these amazing artists who've been doing it for a long time is like they only work when they need to express you know they don't overdo it and justin's like you know, even like, oh, you're working too much. Even see, like, you're in the studio too much. Like, you just need to. I'm like, oh, really? Go when you feel it. You right? know? Yeah, I think. Right when inspired. I think that's that's the thing I see between all the amazing artists I've been able to work with is like, 
that consistency of like pure purity, you know, in the in the songs. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So you mentioned Justin. Mm-hmm. Has Justin kind of taken you under his wing? I mean, obviously with the tour and stuff. And I know yeah. you guys have like a little bit of collab that you've done before with one of his songs. So are you guys doing more stuff? Is he we telling might. you like Eddie? You should try more dance moves. Like- yeah, we, we <laughs> <laughs> honestly, wow, that's so that's so funny you say that. Yeah, you know, we might be working a little something, but. Uh, uh-huh. You know, he definitely rings me after the show and is like, how do you feel last night? Da, 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 da. Here's like what I felt. Here's what I felt about you. Like, yeah, man, he's a he's an amazing big bro, honestly. And like, he's been doing this for so long and having his perspective and eye over me. He, You know, I moved out here two two weeks and then he just was like, you know. It and only took just, you two weeks? And t- then two weeks and, and, I, and, he, and he rang me up. So it was just like kind of, wow. But honestly, like seeing kind of how fickle... Yeah. This kind of world can be like I'm. I'm really grateful to have have a big bro like that for sure. That can be intimidating too. Did you move out here with like no family, no anything? Well, I, mo- I moved. I moved uh, my mom and dad out here. I was okay. lucky enough to do that. Okay. Um, yeah, Still, but like that's... you know, it was def- it was definitely intense. It was like two weeks before COVID as well, so it was like okay, reality well, is yeah, just dissolved at this point. Like <laughs> let's just write some songs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a cool vibe. That's cool. So. With the album, can do you have a date now when we can expect the album to come out? I've or? been trying to. We do have a date. They will not let me announce it. There's so, there's so much going on. But what like, is going on, management? <laughs> no, literally, <laughs> no, because like we're just we're filming. Where there's a lot of stuff to do, but like, yeah, we definitely have a date, and it's soon. I'm I'm very excited. I'm very not gonna soon. lie. Yeah. All right. Have you been writing more songs as you've been taking everything on tour? Is that gonna be on the album too? Like, no, so th- this album has been finished. We're, like, doing a few more things, wrapping it up. But I-, I have started on my, like, next album that isn't this album being released in a couple months. Yeah, Already, Eddie? Yeah, like, I, I have a whole discography vision, more <laughs> or less. Like, I kind of just go. Like, if I wait, I, then you won't I get can't it handle it. Yeah. yeah, I understand that. You know? Okay, so one of the things I like to do, so I can get you out of here, because I know you need some sleep for the show tonight. Love it. One of the things I like to do is rapid fire. Okay. So I kind of feel like I people need these. to get to know Eddie a little I, bit more. I do love f- rapid fire questions. Besides the music, right? Okay. So here we go. You ready? You're giving five rapid fire questions. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So what is your go-to fave snack? Oh, my bacon. Bacon? Yeah. Or Cocoa Pops. Like, those are my favorite. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm explaining too much. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is your hidden talent? Besides music and all that, like, what oh is Eddie's hidden gosh. talent? If someone gets in the boxing ring with me, it's not going to be very fun. Wait, That's my hidden talent. Seriously? Yeah. You're a scrapper? Yeah. I've been training since I was a baby. Stop it. Love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I have to ask you then. What's your go-to, like, kung fu move? What is it? What's the go-to? Uh, question mark kick. <laughs> to the mouth. Straight <laughs> to the face. <laughs> I can show you guys. No, I'm joking. <laughs> question mark kick, though. Shout out uh, Israel Adesanya. Okay, what is your favorite movie quote? Oh, wow. Movie quote. Yeah. Or your go-to one. I'm your son, Darth Vader. Sir, to so Luke Skywalker. May the 4th. You're, you're yes. excited for that? May the 4th be with you? Is it? It's not May the 4th not right yet. now. Oh, my saying, gosh. It's coming. So you'll Massive like- Star Wars fan here. <laughs> like, we'll start arguments. Like, <laughs> let's be careful. No. Huge Star Wars fan. Okay, now. how about this one? The stupidest dare you agreed to. Mm. <laughs> Way too inappropriate to say on, on radio, but like... Like when I was in Australia, I did we did some crazy truth or dare games. <laughs> I think maybe there's a there's a there's a jump a rock jump at my beach right where I grew up called Suicides. Okay, and it's essentially like you have to clear this massive rock as well as the jump down. So like if you like don't jump far enough, you're gonna hit the rock and just like roll down this massive cliff. And there was a little bit of wind this day, like pushing onto the rock. And I just cleared it. That was really stupid. What? I might not have been here. So you're an adrenaline junkie. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. It's all about the adrenaline. Well, okay, you passed. Those were like your rapid fire. So Love it. good job. Yay. Now, once again, if people want to find you, look up your music, all that good stuff. Where can we, we find you? What are your handles? I feel like everything. It's just my name, Eddie Benjamin, Eddie which Benjamin. I'm grateful for. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for coming. That was fun.